If you're anything like me, that is, you love listening to music and audio quality is important to you in addition to the convenience of using your headphones for commuting, for working on creative ideas, as well as daily communication through phone calls and voice note sharing, then you must have heard of the Apple AirPods Max. It is the company's first attempt at Bluetooth noise cancelling headphones. For a first timer, these headphones have caused quite a stir in the entire audio industry and world. It has been compared with many other headphones below and above its price range. However, there is one headphone I believe gives the Apple AirPods Max a run for its money, literally. And that headphone is the Bioplay H95 from the legendary audio company Bang & Olufsen. Hello, my name is Emeko Kereke. And I'm Reem Alphahed. Yes, and today we are going to be reviewing two headphones. And by the way, let me say that for those who have been watching and following this channel, you know that this is not my usual setup. And that's because I am not in Berlin in my studio. So I'm in Barcelona and Reem I came all the way from Berlin to come and join me here. We are working on some project and I wrote her into doing this with me. Let's begin by I'm talking about uh, the feel of it and how they feel straight out of the box. What do you think? In terms of feel, both of them are incredibly luxurious. You can immediately feel it. Like this one, the material, the leather, just holding it, you feel like you're holding something really high quality. This one is a lot more airy. I think technically, maybe that one is lighter or which one is? This one is technically lighter. lighter. And this is heavier. But somehow this feels lighter to me. And I don't know if it's the material. Is it it's the mesh? Carrying it right now or when it's on my, when it's on me. Now when it comes to design and build quality, these headphones share a lot of similarities. Yet they are so different. But it ultimately boils down to one thing. They are premium and luxury headphones in all sense of the word. In that category, they are worth the money, if not more. And oh, speaking of money, I think we should just let a cat out of the bag and let it scurry off the window and into the wind. Yes, these two headphones come at a steep price for the average user. The AirPods Max goes for 620 euro here in Europe, while the H95 goes for 800 euro. But are they really expensive considering what they have to offer and which is more worth the money than the other. Uh, how would you see the feel? Well, um, like you said, you know, I feel like both of them really uh, feel premium. What I love is with the piano, which by the way is the more expensive headphone, is the attention to detail. But again, you see that um, with the AirPods Max as well. The Bioplay H95 is more like on the sort of like non-conformist you know, aspect like the off-road, you know, edgy, you know, something that you put on with your Levi's jacket, you know, and, and just, you know, step out like an after office kind of <laughs> headphones. Meanwhile, the AirPods Mask so like is has this laser cut feel to it. And so far. Slim yeah. And yeah. quite um it, it feels fresh in a way. Mm -hmm. At the same time, this one feels slightly more durable. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's just like my impression because of the leather, because of the material. Like I feel like if I buy something like this, it will last me many years. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And with Apple, and potentially because it's an Apple product, and I know they're probably making new things every few years, like this definitely will last a while, but I don't have the same, it doesn't have the same legacy as this. Yeah, BNM. exactly. And on opening the Bioplay H95, everything about the look and feel has been well thought through from inside out. Right from the box, you are greeted with an aluminum hard case housing the headphone. The headphone itself is made of aluminum and leather. The aluminum surface is anodized aluminum. Now, this is very important 
Here is why. Anodizing is a method for changing the surface chemistry of metals and, in this case, aluminium. It protects against corrosion, resists scratching, and is one of the most durable surface finishes available. But it also makes the surface aesthetically beautiful and leaves a matte rough coating that is pleasing to the eye and to the touch. What this means in the case of the Bioplay HNA5 is that the aluminium has been treated to withstand oxidization, that is, the reaction to all the oxygen in the air, but also against acid rain, salt, dust, basically it's weather sealed. And this is what Bang & Olufsen means when they say that these headphones are built to last. Now, this is a very important factor in evaluating these headphones. Because unlike many headphones manufacturing company, Bang & Olufsen is first and foremost about durability. They have been around for more than 95 years. That's about a century of consistency. So the company is not thinking that you should discard these headphones after a year or two. They are thinking five, 10, and maybe 20 years. Basically, that the Bioplay H95 will age gracefully with you as you do so. From this perspective alone, is 800 euros still expensive? Well, if you are going to keep your cans until you are well into your prime and then gift it to your teenage son, who is currently four years old, then 800 euro is more than a fair price if you ask me. Now, the AirPods Max is no slacker when it comes to this durability thing either. Just like the H95, its ear cups are made of machine-coated anodized aluminum. However, while the aluminum surface of the H95 is more matte and rough to the touch, that of the AirPods Max leans towards the smooth and shiny. Now, which will be more durable than the other over time? I think I'll give it to the Bioplay H95. And this is because it has more solid and durable parts than the AirPods Max. I should mention that with the H95, there are no plastic parts whatsoever. From the headphones to the accessories, that is cables, airline adapter, whatever, are made of aluminum, cloth, and leather. With the exception of the cable that runs through the headband, connecting the ear cups, then the lid of the hat case. On the contrary, the AirPods Max stayed away from leather and went with rubberized materials, aluminum, and knit mesh. I think that the knit mesh that Apple used for the headband is the weakest point of the AirPods Max in terms of durability. And this is the reason why it may not last as long as the Bioplay H95. When it comes to the ear cups, both headphones share a lot in common. They both have detachable ear cups held together by magnets. This will allow you to clean the insides of the ear cups from time to time, but also, importantly, to easily replace the ear cups when they are worn out. Inside the ear cups are clearly marked R and L, indicating right and left. For the H95, it is printed with a clear white outline while for the AirPods Max, it is embroidered. When it comes to headphones design, many decisions are driven by how comfortable, portable, and lightweight they should be. These are sometimes even more important than the sound or other features. The AirPods Max and Bioplay H95 are very comfortable headphones. As of weight, the H95 comes in at 323 grams, while the AirPods Max weighs 385 grams. It might then seem that the AirPods Max will be noticeably heavier when worn, but that's where the genius of Apple design thinking comes in here. Apple used the knit mesh as a way of evenly distributing the weight across the top of the head. This makes the AirPods Max feel lighter than it actually is. However, I find that when moving your head a lot, you feel the weight of the ear cups. As for the H95, it is light and comfortable in the head, regardless of how you move around. Like the AirPods Max, the ear cups are quite comfortable to wear for long hours. I didn't experience any hot or sweaty ears for any of these headphones. The ear cups of H95 is made from soft materials enclosed in lambskin, while the AirPods Max is made from a mesh textile material. The ear cups of both headphones are oval shaped and will comfortably fit most ears. But hear what Reem and I has to say about some real life situations.
Okay, so let us talk about comfort. How mm, it feels. Okay, it's my favorite. Let's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's let's let's. So, which one would you go for? Which one is more comfortable, right off the? Immediately, I, the AirPod Max. Why? So, okay, you see me. I'm a petite young woman with earrings, a hijab. So, to find headphones that are compatible with me is not always easy. And honestly, I've had a bad track record with a lot of headphones, where a lot of them get uncomfortable. I also have really like small ears, and somehow it also I hate like when they feel like they're sucking on my ears, and. With these, even though they're really comfortable, my ears feel well. After a while, mm -hmm. like it starts to feel like, especially if they're off or if, like I'm talking to someone, I don't want to take them off. Like after a while, I feel a little piercing in my ear, and it feels like it's because they're much less breathable. Like when I put them on, it feels like a little suction cup, and it just feels like I have headphones on. And I always have to take off my earrings. Like if I'm actually want to use them for a longer period of time, I it just, the earrings start pressing onto me like this. And look at them, they'd also have this like space in between, which I just don't think is as attractive. Like I think they look really great, mm -hmm. like to be honest, like mm -hmm. look at them. But at the same time, they just don't fit on me in the same way. Whereas these, like- and they, look, they look even like, it's like made for, this is something about, again, much of um, the publicity and the videos that Apple put out for the AirPods Max yeah. is, you know, by women actually. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. you, you get a sense that um, they were also thinking about, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the feminine structure. Uh, yeah, like well. even I have it on right now and he's talking and I, I have transparency mode on. I could forget they're there. They just feel so light and breathable. And like, I don't know, this mesh on top, I think just makes it also feel somehow just f like floating a bit more. Yesterday I was listening to both of them at night for a few hours and I kept switching in between them. And so for some reason, every time I like put these back on, they felt like a little cold and fresh. Like I would just put them on my ears and, and I think it's this material, it just feels really breathable. It just, I could forget it's there. And look at how well snug it fits and it's super easily adjustable. Like. It's just, it just look, there's barely any space there. And I don't know, maybe this looks a bit awkward and big, but I guess your ears feel fit completely inside, so it's more comfortable. Yeah, and, but this. that is not to say that the BioPlay H95 is not comfortable as well. It's just not as comfortable as the AirPods Max. Both headphones adopt the same angle of rotation for the ear cups when adjusting it to the head and ears. However, the H95 folds inwards to fit into the case. This makes it more portable and also easier to wear around the neck than the AirPods Max. I have a feeling that Apple intentionally designed the AirPods Max to be shown off as opposed to be tucked away in an enclosing case. They want the design to literally speak for itself in the absence of the Apple logo. Uh, yes, there is no Apple logo or any markings whatsoever on the AirPods Max, which I personally find Really cool. The H95 comes with a beautifully made anodized aluminum hard case. The inside of the case has compartments for the headphones and accessories that gives you confidence that your prized position is well protected. Well, the same cannot be said for the Apple's solution to a case. Rather than give a case for protection, Apple decided to go for an all hipster solution by providing a wallet which does very little to protect the headphones, but instead helps in putting the AirPods Max in sleep mode in the absence of a power button. Now, when it comes to features, both of these headphones are packed with features, which makes them very similar, but again, very different in many ways. Let's start with automatic noise cancellation and transparency.
in terms of features and in terms of this whole actual audio experience. So the first headphones out of these that I actually tried was the AirPod Max. And we were sitting in a cafe having breakfast and he's just like, hey, try these, you know. And and he played, I remember Blessed by Wizkid and it was on Tidal. And it was, I put him on. You want to try it again? This, <laughs> this. And honestly, you know, thank you. Wow. Okay, so we all know that when it comes to transparency mode and noise cancellation, the AirPods Max is just of the hook. It's almost, almost unprecedented. And as I speak, she does not hear me anymore. She's gone. She's gone. And that's thanks to the noise cancellation. But I'll try to bring her back to Oh. Yeah. You lost me. <laughs> you lost me. Yeah. I, I think she's got a tiny tears in her eyes actually. I think I think she's tearing up. Yeah. Alright, the only way I can bring her back is to stop the music. As you know, violent and as rough that is i have to do so Shit. okay <laughs> back to this planet oh my gosh what do you think this is exactly what happened the first time like i all actually like get emotional like <laughs> <laughs> wow oh she's my got God. tears in her eyes <laughs> no not actually but no a little bit <laughs> no but like what? honestly like the first <laughs> It's just you can't not smile, yeah. you know? Like so, but I actually that, forgot how, is, how, how good that, that was. How is that different now? I don't know. Maybe if I try those now it will feel the same, but it was just the first premium audio experience I've had mm -hmm. was with these. Mm -hmm. And I remember sitting in that coffee shop and honestly I disappeared. Like honestly, it scared me how immersed I suddenly felt and I just closed my eyes and the coffee shop disappeared i lost my sense of time like i was so in the song i could feel every <laughs> intricate detail of the song and honestly there was a before and an after like there was like a before like music before this experience and music after and honestly but, it ruins music forever for you because <laughs> you can't listen to music if you think about transparency mode between both of them which one is better okay so this one is super intuitive. You just press a button and suddenly mm -hmm. it's transparent. Suddenly it's noise cancellation. Yeah. It's super easy to realize. Mm -hmm. Also, it's just, I don't have to think about it and mm -hmm. I don't have to wonder, is this transparency mode or not? Mm -hmm. This one is very- It has a dial. Yeah, it's a very cool feature because it's a dial, which is, is in, in theory more intuitive, but actually I didn't find it intuitive at all. Um, particularly because the dial is never ending. It just keeps going and going and going and going. And then, so I never, and I, and the first time I used it, I actually wasn't sure if moving it forward was making it more transparent or making it more noise cancellation. Yeah. And, and I never figured that out. Like I've been using it, um, for quite a few times over the course of the past couple of weeks. And I'm just, I always feel like I'm fumbling with it. And, and the noise cancellation is very impressive on both of them. Honestly, it's next level. Yeah. Like it's just, Yeah. and the transparency mode is also next level. Um, but this is far more intuitive. The H95 features adaptive noise cancellation and transparency mode, which can be controlled by a rotating knob on the left side ear cup. Rotate the knob forward to incrementally activate transparency mode. Rotate it backwards to activate noise cancellation also incrementally. When the dial is left at the middle position, and this is indicated by a blip sound, noise cancellation and transparency mode is turned off. The AirPods Max has just one button to activate transparency mode and noise cancellation. All you need is to press it once to switch from one mode to the other. A sound is heard each time you press the button to indicate a switch in the mode. Both headphones feature eight microphones each that helps with ANC and transparency mode. However, 
the implementation of this technology in the AirPods Max makes it by far more superior to that of the BioPlay H95. The noise cancellation of the AirPods Max is superior, full stop, but the transparency mode is even second to none. I find that the ANC of the BioPlay H95 is much better than its transparency mode, and that's a pity because in this day and age, headphones can really benefit from a very good transparency mode in addition to a good noise cancellation. It is becoming indispensable. In any case, if ANC and transparency mode is important to you, then suddenly go for AirPods Max over the BioPlay H95. There is even no question about that. For volume controls, the AirPods Max carries over the digital crown in the Apple Watch. Rotate the crown forward and backwards to increase or decrease the volume of your audio content. Press twice to jump to the next track in your music playlist. Press twice to jump backwards. This button also works for pausing and playing music, as well as answering or rejecting calls by pressing just once. When you press and hold, you activate the voice assistant. In my case, it is Siri. The implementation is very simple and very easy to use. It requires no learning curve whatsoever and it's intuitive right from the box. The BioPlay H95 on the other hand uses a rotating dial on the right cup for volume controls. Rotate forward to increase the volume and backwards to decrease. On the surface of the right ear cup are touch controls indicated by two white markings. Swipe forward to jump to the next track and swipe backwards to jump backwards. To pause or play your music, tap your finger in the middle of the ear cup. That is where you have the logo. This also works for answering and rejecting phone calls. On the side of the right ear cup is a button to power off the headphone and to put it in Bluetooth pairing mode. To activate the voice assistant, there is a dedicated button on the left ear cup. I should say that while I'm no longer a fan of touch controls and swipe gestures since the AirPods Max, those of the BioPlay H95 are the best I have seen or experienced in any headphones with these features. The swipe features of the ear cups are 100% reliable. I say 100% with no doubt. However, the tap to pause is always a hit or miss. You really have to make sure you tap the center of the ear cup for this to work. It's frustrating to have to try twice or tries when for the AirPods mass is just one push of a button. Also, I think I should say that the best implementation of the dial in the BioPlay H95 is on the right ear cup, that is, with the volume control. As for the left ear cup with the ANC and transparency mode, it is tacky and counterproductive. Also, it can be tiring to always have to rotate the dial for transparency and ANC when for the AirPods mass is just, again, a push of a button. In other words, the H95 would have been better off if Bang & Olufsen had used buttons for the ANC and transparency mode as opposed to those dials. The AirPods Max has two sensors inside the ear cups that detects when the ear cups are lifted or removed from the head. It immediately pauses the music or audio content you are listening to. This feature is often not talked about in reviews of the AirPods Max, yet it is perhaps the most used feature in the day-to-day -day usage of the headphone more so because it is almost flawless in the AirPods Max. Most premium noise cancellation headphones of say the last three years have this feature as standard because it should be standard. But for some reason, for some reason that I don't understand, the BioPlay H95, this almost perfect yet expensive headphones do not have this feature. Oh, see it's playing. Okay. Yeah, it's supposed to stop. Ooh, okay. If it has a sensor, it was supposed to stop. But no, there's no sensor. How? Why Bang & Olufsen? How? Now, battery life for these headphones differ immensely. The BioPlay H95 is rated at 38 hours with ANC and transparency mode turned on, and 50 hours with just Bluetooth. The AirPods mask comes in at a pitiable 20 hours with ANC and transparency mode working all the time. We charge both headphones and use them interchangeably over the week. The H95 performed very well. It still has some life after five days of intense usage. As for the AirPods Max, battery seems to be a very big weakness. First of all, 
the AirPods Max have been having some serious battery drainage issues, which I also reported in my previous video. But since then, Apple has released a firmware update which supposedly fixed the battery issue. Yet, I am not so sure. It's time to mention that the AirPods Max has no power button. While this is convenient in many ways, it is also a source of battery drainage, in my opinion. Apple claims that the AirPods Max goes into low power mode when left outside its wallet for a long period of time. Or better still, use the smart case that comes with it to put the headphones into sleep mode when not in use. Well, I find that the AirPods Max dies on me more often than it's conducive. The good news though, a 5 minutes charge gives you about 90 minutes of battery life. Oh, and before I forget, the BioPlay can be set to go into sleep mode after 15 minutes of not being used and not powered off. Now, to connectivity. When it comes to connectivity, those deeply entrenched in the Apple ecosystem will have very little reason to look any further than the AirPods Max. To start with, the AirPods Max features automatic switching, which allows seamless connection from one Apple device to another. This comes in handy if you have multiple devices, say an iPhone, iPad, MacBook, and iMac. Just putting on the headphones connects you to the device that's just right in front of you without lifting a finger. And all of this is thanks to the much acclaimed H1 chip, a processor that is basically the driving force of connectivity and digital data processing of the Apple ecosystem. The BioPlay H95, on the other hand, features a robust Bluetooth 5.1 connection. I find that the Bluetooth connection is the most reliable I have used in any audio speaker that is not from Apple. Sometimes it's even more stable than the AirPods Max. Yup, I said it. So I had issues for some reason with both of them mm -hmm. in the beginning. So with the BNO, that one, I first tried to download their app and for some reason the app could never read, could never find this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and so I ended up not even using the app at all. But the actual connectivity, once it was connected, once it knew my phone, it was super easy after that. Whereas with the AirPod Max, this is his AirPod Max. And so when I tried to connect it to my phone, it was just like very reluctant. Because yeah. <laughs> it, it didn't want to leave his yeah. ecosystem yeah. of his million did, Apple products. Did you, did you say his ecosystem? No, ecosystem. Uh, is he? No, right? <laughs> she no, said that's her ecosystem. No, but she said, it's, it's a no. nice Freudian sleep there because <laughs> Apple's ecosystem is also an ecosystem. Yeah. yeah? It makes us all feel it's, special it's in relation to the Android yeah. people. So which I, I, which I don't know if I like even if I'm if I'm culpable in being a part of it. But anyway, so <laughs> this ecosystem, this it, it was not, it didn't want to leave Emma, Emma's ecosystem. It didn't want to join mine, mm -hmm. you know. And then eventually I had to google how to do it and and then eventually I realized that you just press this button the noise cancellation button for a while mm -hmm. and then it should happen and then after that it knew my phone immediately i don't know actually what will happen now that both of us are here which phone it will yeah that's to. that's very interesting because we <laughs> have been wanna... trying to listen to music as well so what is happening right now is that apparently uh because we've connected to uh the same uh, phone yeah so the device is so like memorized the two phones now so you can basically switch from one to the other by just going yeah. to the bluetooth and just connecting. Okay, cool. Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. And by the way, I should say that uh, Rim in this place, Rim is like staying two floors below. And at some point, I realized that the AirPods Max is connected to my phone, and her room is just two floors below. How is that possible? And actually, when I turned these on the BNO, I started to hear a YouTube video that I wasn't watching. And I realized that it must be connected to your yeah. computer, which is two floors above, which is insane. Like this is like actual floors. And so the connectivity on both of these is next level. Top this one is perhaps even better. Yeah. The H95 can connect to two devices at once, but can remember up to six devices. When paired to two devices, say your phone and your tablet, the connection is firmly registered. Connection is automatically reestablished when device or headphone is turned on. To pair the headphones to another device, just push the button and hold the button toward the Bluetooth sign. 
then search for your headphone in your Bluetooth list. If you are an Android user or you alternate between Apple and Android, the BioPlay H95 will serve you better than the AirPods Max with regards to seamless connectivity. For Android users who want to use the AirPods Max, this is very possible. However, there are so many reasons why you are better off spending the extra to get the BioPlay H95. Now, the long-awaited standoff, sound. How do these headphones sound? I give her some time. I give her some time. There is sinking. But if she doesn't have tears in her eyes, if she doesn't have tears in her eyes, then the BioPlay H95 is not as good as the AirPods Max. By the way, the song she's listening to is by Whiskey and Damian Mali. It's a very, very powerful, very, very motivational song. And it's called Blessed. I encourage you to go out there and give it a listen. All right, so time to call her back by putting off the, the song. Welcome back. So I was having a wonderful time with our audience while we were away. <clears throat> you should, you should play that song for them something. Yeah, I told them to go check it out. So did you have tears in your eyes? Honestly, I almost did. <laughs> you almost had tears in your eyes, but you didn't. No, but actually, that was pretty amazing. But did you have tears in your eyes this time around, second time? Look, they're coming. They're for me. They're, they're coming. <laughs> they're coming. They're on their way. For real? They're coming. Okay, so this is... This is something about this place. I feel like you have to pause after an experience like that. You can't just exactly. jump into normal. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So I was telling them while you were away, wow. while you we were gone, <laughs> that if you come out having tears in your eyes, then we know that this is giving the AirPods Max a run for its money. It definitely... So no, honestly, this can make you cry. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to music with the BioPlay H95. There is very little to complain about with regards to sound. The first impression for me was, man, these cans sound as good and grounded as the headphone looks. The attention to detail one feels with the design and physical components of the headphones is carried over to the sound signature. It sounds pristine. Instrument separation is top notch. Very good bass and mid bass reproduction with no muddiness whatsoever. The timing is impressively accurate. Soundstage is slightly limited compared to, say, Boaz and Wilkins PX7, which, as we all know, is the king of large soundstage. The H95 does not overly brighten the music, so the sound signature is on the mellow and groovy side. Vocals are well reproduced and forward, and then no distortion whatsoever at the highest volume. In fact, the sound of the H95 makes you want to regret ever listening to anything through, say, for instance, Sony 1000 XM4. This one, when I'm wearing it, I am very conscious that I'm listening to sound. Amazing sound, very pronounced sound, very intricate, mm separate sound like even the left and the right i this feel one. the differences yeah it's very pronounced and, and precise and and almost kind of pure mm -hmm. um that's the word pure yeah it's, it's a, it's it feels a purist, very pure it's a purist uh, headphone with the h95 it's simply ingenious audio engineering that bang and Olufsen, this danish company has been known by for almost 100 years there is no forced effort to accentuate 
the frequencies or rely heavily on digital data and algorithms. You get a sense that a company understands music and has the know-how to make headphones that really maximizes this wealth of knowledge. Now, if all you've got is the Bioplay H95, then you need look no further because sound-wise, they are very good and pleasurable to listen with. However, we do have the AirPods Max around the corner. So, let's talk about it. Uh, with the AirPods Max, since she's tested this one, I will be the person to test this one. The AirPods Max is everything that the H95 is, but more sweetened. Instrument separation is almost too good, so much that the AirPods Max could sometimes sound too precise and too clinical. And don't get me wrong, this makes for what I call an unprecedented audio listening experience. Yeah. And, and yesterday when I was listening and alternating between the two of them, mm -hmm. it's crazy because they do sound very different. There's no way to explain these, these, mm -hmm. these, this music without just saying it's just pleasure. It's just pleasurable. Yeah. I don't know. Literally like any pleasurable thing that you're thinking of right now, mm -hmm. this is better. Yeah. The sense you get with the AirPods Max is that truly music has stopped being mechanical and very much about digital data and algorithm and all the processing behind it. That is not to say that this is bad. It's just that music is usually not that precise, almost to a fault. You just hear everything in the music clearly. It could be really overwhelming sometimes. The guitar, the piano, the cymbals, clarinets, flutes, or any other instrument that form the intricate, complex part of the music is heard clearly. You hear things you've never heard before in a song you've always known. But all of this just boils down to one thing. The AirPods Max changes entirely the music listening experience. It's like the superpower of your ears have been unlocked, for lack of, of better expression. Literally, you feel your brain being nudged by every signal passing through your ears. It's just incredible. All of this is thanks to the adaptive EQ technology powered by Apple's H1 chip, which does up to 200 million operations per second, adjusting and tweaking the frequencies of your audio content, not only in relation to sound fire, but also to make up for the shape of your ears and any accessories like spectacles or earrings you may be wearing. This has made the AirPods Max the best and perhaps only headphones for listening to audio content across multiple platforms regardless of audio quality. The BioPlay falls short in this regard. As such, I've been using the H95 with songs from Tidal, Hi-Fi and Deezer Hi-Fi mostly. The difference becomes noticeable when I switch to the awful quality of you know it, Spotify. The AirPods Max is also slightly louder than the H95, but like the H95, the AirPods Max has no distortion at maximum volume. The AirPods Max seems to be doing much better in the area of mid bass, that is, separating the lower bass from the mid bass, thus giving a sense of a cleaner, more nuanced bass rendition. But the bass of the AirPods Max seems to be more vivid and punchier, basically more present, than that of the BioPlay H95. And because the AirPods Max is louder, brighter, more pristine, it makes everything you listen to with the AirPods Max slightly more engaging than the BioPlay H95. Again, you only notice this if you are constantly alternating or listening to these headphones side by side. Now, the BioPlay H95 comes with an accompanying mobile app that helps in customizing the user experience. The B-Link app, as it's called, is the most advanced I have experienced by any headphones company. It is by far better than the app of Sony 1000 SM4. Also, the EQ is much more useful. It has six listening modes, very conducive for the everyday person who knows very little to nothing about EQing their music. I also find that the listening modes enhance the music in a much more accurate way without messing up the default sound or throwing the various frequencies of balance. In other words, the app makes a lot of difference and even tempts me to say this gives the sound quality an advantage over that of the AirPods Max. For instance, 
We talked about BioPlay having a slightly narrow sound stage. However, in the app, you can simulate a larger sound stage by enlarging the circle of the equalizer platform. But in all, I do prefer the default EQ mode better than, you know, tinkering with those uh, EQs. The app also serves as a mobile interface for controlling the ANC, transparency mode and volume, as well as managing firmware updates. For the AirPods Max, all of this is built into the Apple operating system. Speaking of which, the AirPods Max has one more trick up its sleeves, and that's spatial audio. Spatial audio in Apple's own words has dynamic head tracking, which brings theater-like sound that surrounds you from the movie or video you are watching, so that it seems as if the sound is coming from all around you. The sound field stays mapped to the device and the voice stays with the actor or action on screen. Unfortunately, the scope of this review does not allow for making you hear this, but it is a pleasurable sonic experience, if I do say so myself. All right, what about phone calls? I find that the AirPods mask is incredibly good with phone calls, especially when one is out and about in the city. The noise cancellation helps in muffling surround sounds, but also it has one microphone dedicated to picking up your voice during calls. It works in conjunction with the noise cancellation microphones to beam form your voice. Uh, I find that not only are calls clear, but voice notes on WhatsApp or iMessage come across really, really good. The core quality of the BioPlay HN5 is good, but leaves a lot to be desired when compared to the AirPods Max. During our testing, we find that it is not as good as the AirPods Max in blocking out ambient sound in a noisy area. Also, when rotating the ANC and transparency mode dial during calls, this affects the call. There is a tendency for the call to drop and the person on the other end may stop hearing you for a moment. While these are no real deal breakers, it is only fair to point out that the AirPods Max is better and more convenient than the BioPlay H95. Okay, conclusion. Considering that this is 620 euro and this is 800 euro, and with everything that we have said, if you were mm. to keep one, which one will you go for? Okay. Well, to be honest, I'm not sure I can afford either of them at this time, but honestly, I didn't want to go into this review with this winner because I just, I just, I just really appreciate the old school and I appreciate the history and the track record that BNO has. I mean, look at it. They're gorgeous. They're just next level premium, but I'm going to go with this one. Like it just in terms of how it fits on me, how light, like how like breathable it is, like just holding it, it's like cold and fresh. It's like when you have like, when you flip your pillow, the other side of the pillow is nice and cold and like, it's just really fresh when you lay down on it. This is, this is what the AirPods Max is and it just fits nicely because of the sound quality, because of the transparency mode, which is just perfect. And I, I would choose this one. I'm not going to keep this anyway, so, but again, whatever I'm going to say is very hypothetical. Uh, truth is, if I have my way, I will keep both of them. But that's <laughs> just me being very glutinous and, you know, hungry for, uh, you know, but... Yeah, I wish I, just, I, wish I could yeah, have both. I think that for someone who's in the Apple ecosystem, like myself, it, it's just indispensable. I, I don't see myself using anything else in, in the way of if you say it's all about practicality, it's all about, you know, just going about your day, but also the music, my goodness. Yeah. Everything, even movies, even... At the end of the day, I still go with, you know, with Rim. I'm going to keep... Really? You know, I actually Airpods am Max. surprised. I really thought you were going to say that. Yeah, I'm going to keep the AirPods Max because wow. everything points to the fact that I don't need the extra. Like, if I'm not just so, like, trying to be, you know, say to myself, okay, I must keep this nice, beautiful, shiny, lovely, and you know, rightfully so, really. 
if it's if i'm not saying that then i think the airpods man has got everything that i need you know at even a cheaper price you know than this one so that's my verdict wow i'm actually surprised i really thought he was gonna go with bnl so yeah so that's it from us Good luck. thank you if you've made it this far uh to this video which we think it's gonna be a long one actually we don't know yet until we edit it i want to say thank you to reem you know for you know coming on board with me but also being very very engaged and passionate if you found this video informative and helpful please consider liking it and if you like the content that i've been sharing on this channel consider subscribing because you're also going to be helping the channel to grow so thank you so much and 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 if you want to see Rim back <laughs> just say just say it in the comment section just say we want you back we want you in the next review we want you to keep reviewing things for us because you nailed it just say it say it and i'll try to get her back you know thank you all this is really exciting and thank you emeka for giving me the opportunity to listen to next level sound like it's hard to go back after this there's definitely a before and an after so i'm really happy i got this opportunity and i'm happy to have met you all and hope to see you again and uh, see you in the next video bye bye <laughs>